Now let's talk about trusting and how can we prevent that? Well, let's take a look. This is a picture of a school bus and it was left out in the open to be exposed to water and oxygen gas present in the air. So this caused the bus to rust. So basically rust is a reddish orange powder which is actually a hydrated iron oxide. So when iron or steel are exposed to air and water, rust happens. So how can we prevent rusting from happening? Well, from a, a life experience, I was going to the beach and I left my scissors out in the open and just a few hours when I when I wanted to use the scissors again I found it was coated with this weird reddish powder and it wasn't as good as before so let's talk about this the things you can do to prevent rusting well let's begin the first thing you can do is you can paint the object, so painting. Well, I started doing this, I coat my steel products or like my scissors and stuff like that with nail polish. It actually helps prevent uh, rusting, but that's for like your domestic uses, but other like companies and factories, they do other things. So painting also oil greasing coating the object with an oil layer also coating with plastic another thing someone can do is plating and plating is usually done through electrolysis now the most two important things you guys have to know for your exam is galvanizing galvanizing and sacrificial protection okay now let's talk about these two more in details well the first one let's see here This is galvanizing. Well, galvanizing is coating with a zinc layer. So galvanizing is basically coating the object with a zinc layer. And the object is usually made of steel or iron. So zinc is more active than iron. Therefore, it will react and corrode, thereby protecting the iron layer. So let's let's demonstrate this. So this is an iron piece, and we're coating it with some zinc. So this is zinc, and that's iron. Well, since zinc is more active than iron, it will react. First, protecting the iron from any corrosion. So the zinc will corrode first. Now that's for galvanizing. What about sacrificial protection? Well, sacrificial protection is basically attaching zinc bars to oil rigs. Now in this picture, let's take a look. This is the piece of zinc attached to, this is a ship and what happens is the same thing as zinc is more reactive than iron zinc will corrode first by giving positive ions using this equation so zinc solid will react with iron positive iron ions to give zinc ions plus iron okay and as this process is continuous the zinc bar will gradually decrease and it will have to be replaced 
Unlike galvanizing, galvanizing, if there is still a little piece of zinc on top of the iron, nothing would happen to the iron, the iron would still be protected. So let's recap. We talked about rusting and rusting is basically a reddish orange powder that's covering the iron layer and this happens when iron or steel are exposed to water and air. Now we said there are some things we need to do in order to prevent rusting and these were listed right here and we said the most two important of these are galvanizing and sacrificial protection the examiner will ask you about these two because they're very important now we said galvanizing is basically coating i'm not coating sorry coating iron with a zinc layer as the zinc is more reactive than iron therefore it will corrode faster and will prevent iron from any corrosion or exposure to air. Now, sacrificial protection is basically attaching an iron bar, not an iron bar, attaching a zinc bar to iron. And because zinc is more active than iron, therefore it will corrode faster using this reaction right here. So I hope this was clear for you guys. We still have a little left to talk about metals, so stay tuned for the next videos and good luck.